this week has been a week of lots of events especially birthdays we had the birthday of a superstar salman khan two days back today we have the birthday of ratan tata one of the greatest industrialists of our country it's also the birthday of a country mexico but what's going to give birth today is a amazing book a book which will take you all to different possibilities and expose you all to different aspirations and inspirations we have the launch of a very very interesting and exciting book called the shoreless infinite so please give a big round of applause for this wonderful <laughs> wonderful day which will commemorate the book release of this wonderful person whom i'm going to call in a few minutes there was this woman who went with her son to a bakery and when she went in there the baker saw the young boy and he said uh, take these chocolates from this uh, jar the boy said no no i don't want the chocolates the baker said no no please take i'm not going to charge you any money please take it he said no no i'm not going to take the chocolates but as the boy and the mother had finished their shopping in the bakery and they were going out the baker took the chocolates from the jar in his own hand and he gave it to the boy the boy immediately took the chocolates and as they were going out the mother whacked the boy and said i was so proud of you when he asked you for the first time you didn't take the chocolates free but when he gave it to you at the end you took the chocolates why was that the boy said no mummy when i take with my small hands i'll get only 3 or 4 chocolates but if he gives with his big hands he'll give me 10 or 12 <laughs> chocolates that's the relationship we have with our creator isn't it when we ask we ask only limited things but when he gives us he gives us so much so to invoke the blessings of the creator we have the very person who has authored the book shoreless infinite a very very passionate individual an individual who has been a communication specialist a tv announcer a mother a multifaceted personality whom i'll be interviewing a little later so please with a big round of applause invite on stage the author of the book shoreless infinite mrs geeta shankar uh, thank you now it's invocation time um, i have not been practicing but i hope uh, lord ganesha will support me all right maha ganapati manasa smarahami maha ganapati manasa smarahami maha ganapati mm -hmm. maha devasuta महादेव सुत गुरु गुहनु तो काम कोटि प्रकाश शांत महाकाव्य नाटक दीप्रिय महाकाव्य नाटक दीप्रिय मूषिग वाहन मोदग प्रिय महाकाव्य नाटक दीप्रिय मूषिह वाहन मोदग प्रिय महा गणपति मनस स्मरा महा गणपति but it's an investment for learning life's lessons so if you buy the book today you'll also get it personally signed by the author so please all of y'all uh, get the book with yourselves and then read it over tonight and you'll see what a difference it makes to your life and to talk about the book and the author and to know about her more i'm going to do a small question and answer with her now for three or four questions so y'all will come to know what passion and what actually inspires in this entire book so we'll have a small question and answer session with the author so ma'am we'll start okay okay <laughs> okay 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 yeah okay
No, no, you, uh, yeah, left, left. She's closer to my heart. Okay, fine. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Geetha. <laughs> Ramendra, don't feel bad. Okay. <laughs> okay, should I start? Okay. Now, the first thing which struck me about your book was when you said that you are an ordinary person with extraordinary passion. So tell me something about that extraordinary passion which you reflect both in your book and in your personality. Okay, you don't want uh, me to talk about uh, me. I'm a very ordinary, very simple person. The only thing is uh, the passion, I do not know, it's limitless. I do not know whether it is uh, being genetically, I have acquired it. Uh, I follow a simple uh, principle, which is passion, commitment and discipline. This is a formula, PCD for me. And um, I usually, there's something called uh, the gremlin mindset. Uh, it is like, you know, whenever you want to do any work, this gremlin mindset uh, shuts down everything. It's almost like the reptilian brain, which says you shouldn't take risk, uh, you shouldn't move forward. And this uh, a gremlin mindset has got something which does not say yes or no. For example, uh, let me say I want to learn swimming. All right, and then I tell my brain, come on, Gita, you should go enroll yourself, start learning swimming. But my gremlin mindset will not say yes or no, but it will see to it that I postpone it every day. Okay, the language of gremlin mindset is uh, 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 yes, neg one. negativity, yeah. procrastination, and uh, trying to push it to a, a, a very, uh, to a future date, undefined date. And uh, I, close my gremlin mindset and I believe in risk taking, I keep moving freely and probably uh, uh, that is the uh, uh, truth of my passion. Wonderful, wonderful. That's why, I, yeah, please clap, clap, yeah. Not only clap, buy the book also, okay, yeah. <laughs> okay, so that's why the desire for gain should be more than the fear for loss. Yeah. So am amazing, uh, Geeta. Uh, the second thing which I wanted to ask you, in your book you talk about your childhood being a very transfer childhood, you were in from one school to the other, you kept moving and that developed a let go attitude. So what is this let go attitude which you developed because you went from school to school and, and is it helping you now also? Uh, definitely, it helps me in my uh, uh, emotional life, in my personal life, anywhere. I remember uh, once uh, when, when I was in Spastic Society of India, I had uh, Mrs. Usha Ramakrishna. She was uh, one of our uh, uh, special, special education teachers. She said, Geeta, the minute your baby is born, she had triplets. Mm -hmm. And then she said, the minute your baby is born and the umbilical cord is cut, you'll have to let go everything. Mm -hmm. She taught me this and uh, it does not mean that uh, my son is my son, my sons are my sons, my daughters-in-law are they, but I don't hold them. It's like, you know, let go, be it of anything. It's uh, 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 almost like, um, uh, what do I say here? Uh, I don't cling on to certain things. For example, uh, for example, even in an organization you see, uh, there are people who would uh, really want their chairs and their jobs, etc. It's not like that for me anywhere, be it in a family or anywhere, wherever I go. I let go things and even my team, uh, I have a wonderful team in Samarthanam. I monitor them, but at the same time I let go. It's be because I know I believe them, I trust them. And uh, that helps, uh, that brings in a lot of uh, uh, plus points. Uh, Basically, dispassionate attachment, right? Very yeah, nice, yeah. Very nice. Yes. And, and, uh, as I read the book, I also something which struck me was you being such a free moving personality and then when you got married, you speak about how there were restrictions and micromanagement and you and restrictions and micromanagement are two poles apart. So how did you get through that phase and did you do those restrictions and micromanagement for your children? <laughs> no, I n I've never micromanaged but on the whole I used to know, huh. even the girlfriends they had, huh. not the younger son, oh, my elder good. son, the girlfriends mm. they had their yeah, first Subhashini is here, you have to be careful, okay. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I knew everything, yeah. I knew what was there even in their school bags. I knew the first cigarette they took, yeah. I knew the first uh, whiskey they had. I knew everything, uh, but at the same time uh, when they were in their clear senses, I used to tell them, look, you can't cheat your mom. Okay, I know everything. So that sort of uh, a thing I had. And about micromanagement is, in fact, I micromanage myself. 
in many of the things my thoughts words and action i'm very careful what i talk what i think okay and uh, 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 what uh, i speak words actions everything but the minute i know somebody is micromanaging me i cannot tolerate it be it anything that is restricting me to time to my uh, uh, to my uh, contribution because i know the goals clearly i know what to achieve what not to achieve is this conducive is this bad but the minute i know uh, i'm being micromanaged uh, i wouldn't be there or in fact universe takes me away from that place a uh, year i would like uh, uh, to sing a very uh, sh small song if you don't mind rajdeep please, this please. is about a bird a little bird paloma blanca most of you i think jairam you also you should be knowing that uh, uh, when the sun shines on the mountains and the night is on the well it's a new day it's a new way and i'd fly up to the sky i can see the morning sunlight i can smell the newborn day i can hear god's voices calling in the golden sunlight way Oh la paloma blanca I'm just a bird in the sky Oh la paloma blanca over the mountains I fly no one can take my freedom away no one can take my freedom away Wonderful <laughs> wonderful After a few months I will be invited to a release of a CD by her songs and also please be <laughs> Uh, we'll we'll have your collection of songs right from then Maha Ganapati to this song. So he, he's <laughs> been joking with me right no, 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 from no. the evening. I'm really I really feel that you sing really well, and I really admire that free spirit. And I love that statement which you said that I micromanage myself, but I don't micromanage others, isn't it? Yeah. And you're careful of. The, and there's a beautiful saying which goes, "I'm careful of the words I speak, so I keep them soft and sweet. So I never know from day to day which ones I might have to eat." So you actually symbolize that, and I'm so happy. I got. there was one part of the chapter. Last, last question. Just one or two small questions before we move on to the next part, uh, which even Subhashni read. It's called discipline, and it's a very new word. So, although she read a part of it, can you just elaborate on what is this discipline, and how can all of us reach that stage of discipline? Uh, blissable, uh, probably this term is new to us, mm -hmm. but this was uh, practiced much earlier. When you see the Vedas or you, when you read them, there are three, three things, Shakti, Viryam and Deva Prakriti. Shakti is that ordinary energy which all of us have. Viryam is a higher form of energy. And Deva Prakriti is not our energy, it is a divine energy. So we need to move from one stage to Shakti, to Viryam and Deva Prakriti. When the divine energy or the blissopine comes, it's like that you don't need to do anything. You only have to think about it and it comes to your doorsteps. I'll tell you one incident. How did I meet Mr. Jairam after 25 years? It is like that. We were in college in Sharda Villas College. All right, he was my senior. But after 25 years, we met in a conference in Delhi. And why did I come to Samarthanam? I was in the hospital when my husband was unwell and somebody tells me, uh, you have to send your resume to Samarthanam. And then I'm there. So it is, that is blissopine where I don't go and seek of anything. It just comes to me. So that is a higher form of life where we don't ask, but our inner desires or our inner uh, wishes are fulfilled. That is totally divine energy. Wonderful, wonderful. I think so. <laughs> amazing, amazing. So that, that's, what, that's what has manifested in this book also and we are all so lucky to have you, Geeta. And last question for the day. Just, uh, you, you have been a multi-role wonder, right? You have been a fantastic uh, TV announcer, a public relations specialist, a communication expert, a great family person, a mother, a grandmother, and besides that, being that much, you have achieved so much in life, but even then you have that spirit of reinventing yourself and renovating yourself. So what is the lesson we can draw from you for reinventing, renovating and moving on and renewing our self-perceptions again and again? Just elaborate a little bit on that so that 
we can I, all gain something no, come on no. yeah. <laughs> i'm a very ordinary person as i've explained huh? i'm a very ordinary person and uh, only thing is my uh, priorities or my interests keep shifting as soon as something is over i told you i don't do anything uh, it is only the universe law of attraction which takes me to a particular place which makes me learn new skills in fact when i joined samarthanam mm. i never knew anything about communication in the sense i was a trainer mm. all right i was an lnd professional after coming to samarthanam i learned everything there and of course from jairam i did learn but everything like branding to social media i was there and to the web pages many things but i don't think it is complete still there's a long way to go and uh, so it is like you know i keep picking up skills and as i keep traversing in the journey does it answer your question wonderful geeta now it all should give you all energy to buy the book for such a wonderful session we had with you your question answers please give her another big round of applause so we had it all over there a song some message some inspiration everything was there in fact uh, they say in the mythology the quote for happiness is lsd not the lsd which all think it's lakshmi saraswati and durga lakshmi for wealth saraswati for knowledge and durga for emotions and i think so geeta epitomizes all that in lsd so please give her an a big round of applause thank you that's a wonderful job rajdeep thank you so thank much you, okay I, i'm very happy we are very happy in fact uh, uh i'm really uh, i'm really emotionally uh, drained in the sense uh, you have done such a wonderful job and you took us through this uh, book launch function thank you very much uh, a sort of an appreciation a very small gesture from our end appreciation to you sir shankar is giving it to you sir and then to miss thank you thank you dr venu thank you so much for coming sir thank you ramendra kumar thanks ramendra thank you so much. and thank you madhvi madhvi is also here madhvi ramendra thank you and this from shankar thank you so much sir thank you and to india we would have the book launch thank you raga you when you can give it to your papa it's done so they share the us for the cocktail and dinner thank you so much all of you thanks for coming